You might be thinking this is a pretty crazy problem. Or in Polish, we would say, to jest szalony. But it's not as bad as you think, mate. Now, your first instinct might be to get rid of denominators. However, the first thing I notice is that the numerator and denominator have an X in it. This has powers. This secretly has a power of uno. I'm thinking about using my index rules. So to divide two numbers with the same base, we subtract the powers. 3 over 2, or 1.5, minus 1, is a half. So this part simplifies to x to the power of a half. Remember, we still have the 2 in the denominator, is 1 eighth. Now, I'm going to times 2 by 2. We're solving for x, right? So I'm going to double evade both sides. This cancels. x to the power of a half is 1 eighth times 2. The 2 and the 8 cancel. We can divide both numbers by 2. We get 4. Now, x power of a half. Power half means root. This essentially means the root of x. What's the opposite of rooting a number? We square both sides. Alrighty then. Now we're left with x. Now, when how, well, blah, 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 blah. how do we square fractions? We square the numerator. Uno. Square the denominator. 16, mate. Dzień dobry, noise. Follow me for more content like this.